this is Sergey from Proposoft and today I will show you how to convert a CSV or Excel file to Cubo format and import into QuickBooks desktop for Mac. We will use CSV to Cubo converter and you can download it at Proposoft.net. Once downloaded and installed, start CSV to Cubo and locate a CSV file. Make sure that transactions uh, have correct date and expenses are negative and payments to the account are positive for bank or credit card transactions. If you see it other way that expenses are, are positive and payments to the account are negative, then you have to uh, use change the amount sign button to reverse. You may need to do that for some credit card files because they supply amounts as expenses as positive amounts and payments to the account as negative amounts. For regular bank account bank files, it should be done correctly like expenses are negative and payments to the account are positive. Before converting to Cubo file, make sure that account ID is set digits only and if you convert from multiple accounts make sure to use different account ID so if you convert several CSV files for one one bank account use same account ID then when you switch to another account let's say credit card account then you use different number different account ID and make sure to set the account type correctly so if you convert for checking account say checking if you convert for credit card set credit card make sure the currency is set to us dollars for you quickbooks us edition if you have quickbooks canadian edition you can set us dollars or canadian dollars there are if you have non-us account in QuickBooks US edition, then use different converter, for example, CSV to IIF converter and convert to IIF format instead of Cubo format. There are other settings like balance, bank ID, branch ID, and you can set them, but they're not required for QuickBooks, and the parcel will use good values that you will not see anywhere. The last setting is into bit value, which is the, which defines bank label and has to be from allowed bank. You can use default value 3000, which is Wells Fargo, which allowed for all account types. You may use different bank label if you want to, like that matches your bank and uh, your, your bank may not be allowed. For example, this bank is not allowed or this bank first advantage bank is allowed only for check and saving and credit card credit line not credit card so when you select this make sure that account type you converting for is allowed for the into bit number now we're ready to convert to cubo file click the convert button to create a cubo file you have to convert the file name and the file location once the Cubo file is created, you can switch to QuickBooks. And QuickBooks, before importing Cubo files, open the chart of accounts. And for the account, you need to import into. Check it, it doesn't have that blue ball icon. If it does have blue ball icon, it means it's already connected to online services for your bank or it was used for to import differently set Cubo files. What you have to do is you have to edit the account, click online settings and select not enabled. So this will remove blue ball icon and it, it may will make this account available to Cubo import. Click File, Import, 
web connect files. Cubo files are web connect files. Select Cubo file just created and you can cancel this and uh, this is the account number from the Cubo file. This is account type from the Cubo file. So make sure this are correct. And this is a bank label from the Cubo file. And this is actual account in QuickBooks that could be from any bank and it could be named any label. So this Wells Fargo to this check-in has nothing to do like there is no connection and you can have Cubo file from Wells Fargo Bank but you import f into checking account Capital Bank or Capital One or City Bank or whatever bank you name it. Now you QuickBooks imported Cubo file and you can see downloaded payee. This is what payee will look like from the Cubo file shown here. This is this payee that you have to set which is vendor record. So you have to select here vendor record in QuickBooks to match pay on the Cubo file. And you have to also set expense income account. And once this is done, then you add transactions to the register using this button. Thank you for watching.